four years back, something happened in my life which changed it forever. Never in my wildest imaginations had I thought that one day I would become the first person ever to score the full marks in an entrance exam so coveted as the JE. It was beyond my wildest imaginations and I was really happy on that day. Four years after that, even today, I stand here as an entrepreneur, CEO and founder of Acadboost Technologies. And through all of this journey, as a student to a JE aspirant, to an IIT and to an entrepreneur, there have been several ups and downs, some of which I have shared and some of which I have not. And today I'm going to share with you my journey from the starting till the end, share with you whatever lessons I've learned and a few tips which every student here can follow that will help them become a better student themselves and not just better students, but better individuals in general. So I'll talk about my initial years when I was in class 9, 10th, 11th and 12th. One characteristic thing I noticed around myself, especially in my coaching class, was that almost everyone was more worried about getting the best possible marks, getting the best possible rank, uh, getting the highest top, top score and proving to everyone that, you know, I'm the big deal. And not many people were really worried about the content, what is actually being taught, whether it's uh, useful or not whether we can apply that knowledge in the real world or not, okay? And I was the kind of student for whom this was the first priority. Whenever I uh, began any chapter, began any uh, subject in my school, I used to wonder what is the application of this, whether it can be used or not. And that naturally helped me to study it better because I was able to understand it in a much better way. Around myself, I noticed in my coaching that almost every student None of them was worried about this aspect. They just wanted some hacks, some short trick to score more marks with less effort. I did not find it the most encouraging thing in my uh, surroundings, but uh, I was hopeful that once I go into IIT, I think things will change. But once I entered IIT, after two years of grueling J preparation, I found out that it was not really the case. So even in IIT, there was another rat race going on most students, I'm not going to say all, but most students there are just worried about getting the best possible grade, getting the best possible campus placement, uh, those newsletter, uh, those newspaper headlines which you hear, one crore package, two crore package. Most people were worried mostly about that and not really, uh, you know, trying to accomplish a higher purpose in their lives. I took almost a year to figure out that uh, IIT was IIT was a place of great learning. It was a place of great knowledge. There was amazing students and amazing professors there as well. But it was not the place where uh, I could achieve the entrepreneurial or the higher aspirations which I had from my life. And at this juncture, I began to question what actually is education and what actually is studying? Okay, is it just about getting the top ranks? It is, is it just about getting into an IIT? Is it just about becoming a national topper? No, it is something much bigger than that. Can you help with your education? Can you help others achieve their potential with your education? Can you help, can you light the uh, light for others to follow along with your studies as well? And with this purpose in mind, I started to share my knowledge of uh, different exams, JE preparation, whatever knowledge of computer science I had uh, in my two years of studies at IIT Bombay with the world as well. I started writing content, I started are uh, making YouTube videos, which help people understand about uh, whatever I knew. And I started growing uh, a bit of social following on all these uh, platforms. And never did I imagine that it was going to be one of the best investments of time I've ever made. This small, uh, this small step of helping others slowly became a larger army. Uh, it grew from a few hundred people to thousands of people to lakhs of people. And I was at certain point mentoring lakhs of students online for school, for their college exams, for interview preparation tips and everything which I, which I could think of. This was finally helping me accomplish the higher purpose, which I thought uh, something beyond myself, which I thought of before entering IIT. I was also managing my studies along with this. And at this juncture, I had a difficult question to ask to myself. My placements were coming up and uh, I had to make a call whether I should take up the traditional IATN engineer route of going to the US, getting the highest possible package, or should I continue with this uh, thing which I had set up? Should I continue with my uh, efforts of mentoring students, my efforts of uh, building a huge academic community? And I decided the latter. 
it was in hindsight a lot of people like a lot of people at that time called it foolish including a lot of people who cared a lot about me and i had to prove myself this time because uh, if you are taking such a huge financial decision because i am from a very middle class family and for me uh, for for us people like us uh, getting an iit getting into an iit itself uh, is sort of a guarantee of financial freedom and i was uh, foregoing that so i had to make sure that uh, whatever i was going into the career option which i was making also made financial sense for me along with the uh, along with the sense which it was already making at a community level uh, but thankfully things worked out we grew into a company and right now there are thousands of students studying with us from different schools and colleges we are helping them prepare for their entrance exams we are helping them learn different skills like coding machine learning business finances etc which are helping them get great careers for themselves and i am finally able to not only get a bigger better financial return but i am also able to get the better the 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 goodwill uh, aspect of it which a traditional career would probably not have given me so this was my journey from a student to an iitian to an entrepreneur and from this i have learned quite a few lessons the first lesson which i have learned is that it is very important to take risks and stand out from the crowd okay at times your choices will not seem the most rational to you it will seem that what you're doing is uh, is folly and uh, everyone is advising you against it but if your gut says if you feel that you can make you can make it then you should take the risk you should take the bold steps and don't be afraid of what the society will think of you what others will think of you if you think it is the right step for your career progression or for your own self progression the second lesson which i learned was that if you that sometimes you have to let go of your materialistic desires materialistic uh, pleasures like money in order to serve a bigger purpose uh, and funnily enough this is how life works that whenever you chase uh, things like money they don't come to you but whenever you chase a higher purpose you will get all sorts of wealth chasing you and you will not have the time to you know uh, you you will not even think about that so this is uh, where this thing had it uh, i started uh, my company just before the covid pandemic and after covid pandemic uh, things students were facing a lot of issues in their studies both college and school students uh, like both colleges and schools had shut down at that point and there were no coaching centers no colleges running at that period and everyone is having a lot of trouble learning online at that point uh, academies grew a lot we were able to enroll a lot of students we were able to help a lot of students accomplish their learning goals and it helped us in providing a larger value had i taken the option of going for a traditional placement yes i would have made a lot of money in the short term but by doing what i did i was able to help a lot more students i was able to provide a more meaningful value in a lot of students lives and even the financial returns which is obviously the secondary thing were also better than what uh, the traditional career would have provided so this is uh, what my journey has been like now one question which some of you might have here is how did how how can you achieve a lot of continued success in your life be it be it as a be it as a student be it in your career be it in college so i have a standard set of rules which i personally believe have helped me throughout my life for more than a decade the first rule is that you should be early okay whenever you are early you are ahead of the crowd by a lot okay i started preparing for different exams i started studying uh, different books of higher studies in class 7th 8th itself this was not for any particular exam i was not aiming for anything i just i was just curious and i wanted to learn more so by doing this i was able to get much ahead of other students who were starting their studies in class 12th or 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 so when they were actually going beyond their comfort zone even in even if you ask me why i was able to skip the placements it was because i had the confidence in the uh, career option which i was building for myself the community which i was building and that was because i started it early i started it at the age of 18 and 19 whereas a lot of people who opt for traditional career paths they start uh, going beyond their comfort zone of a 9 to 5 at the age of 25 or 26 if at all so i was with a 7 to 8 years advantage over others who would try to venture into any other field beyond their uh, traditional training and that helped me a lot the second principle which i have and this is the probably the single biggest take away from this video from this session is you don't have to work very hard but you have to make sure that you put in a little bit effort every single day 
if you uh, if you are a student study a bit every day okay it doesn't matter if it's your birthday it's your it's diwali day it's christmas day it's sunday it doesn't matter just do 15 minutes study 30 minutes whatever like do something this builds a habit and you don't get left behind okay i'm not asking you that you study for 15 hours on your birthday but do something it should be just like brushing your teeth or taking a shower you should build a habit that without it you you cannot finish the day okay never have i worked more than a certain number of hours in my life but i work every day every day i wake up i check up my emails i check up if there's something i can improve in my platform i check up if there's some way in which i can improve myself if there's something i can read every day i try to do a little bit it doesn't have to be a lot but small steps add up this is how uh, the concept of compounding works and this is applicable your knowledge be it your career be it your uh, exam preparation whatever it is this is going to actually help you okay so this is what i wanted to say and with this i bring you i ask you a question the question which i asked myself in at the end of my first year of college what is education to you what is studies to you is it about getting the best possible career is it about getting the best possible marks is it about getting the best possible ranks or do you have a higher purpose purpose with it can you put others before yourself do you have what it takes to uh, put the uh, benefits of the society the larger cause above yourself and if you have that courage i can guarantee that you will over the long term get a much 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 bigger value from that community than what you have provided to it but the first step is to put the lives of others before yourself and to always be grateful to your family to your uh, to the god and uh, everyone who has helped you along the way and yeah thank you uh, i i would like to conclude this talk now uh, thank you to the entire uh, community for inviting me here i'm honored